the tonic water is not fizzy at all, but it'll do. I don't actually that tastes quite good. Mm. God damn. Let's see if we can do the Queen's favourite drink. What is the Queen's favourite drink? The Dubonnet cocktail. Just three ingredients. Okay, let's have a look now. Let's see if we got what we got in here, bro. The Queen reportedly loves a Dubonnet cocktail, which is commonly referred to as a Zaza when served over ice. The Dubonnet cocktail was created in eight, in the 1840s as a way to make quinine. Is The quinine is the... um, I think it's in the tonic water, which is helps against malaria. Yeah. It helps. Quinine is a drug that um, I think it either prevents malaria or it cures malaria. I'm not too sure on that one. So, you know. <clears throat> oh, there we go. A medication used to treat malaria. More palatable for French Foreign Legion troops. The Dubonnet, Dubonnet cocktail surfaced in Britain in the 1900s. Uh, Gordon's Gin, which I have, has a royal warrant, which would be a perfect choice if you want to be a particularly... Oh, yes, I'm being particularly, particularly regal right now, yeah? Okay, yeah, okay, with my G and T, with my G and quinine, yeah? <laughs> okay. Ah, delicious. Absolutely delicious, Charles. Okay, yeah. If it was previously, it was previous, <sighs> it was previously reported she has a Dubonnet cocktail every day before lunch. I'm on her level, bro. I'm not on her level. But I'm get I'm getting there. You know what I mean. I'm sort of a king. I'm coming that. I'm going that way. I'm on my way to there. Do you know what I mean? Wherever how I got to get there, I'm on. I'm doing it. You know what I mean. So she has a Dubonnet cocktail every day before lunch. So that's breakfast. Breakfast cocktails, Bruce. That's my kind of girl. Not girl, really. It's my kind of person because you know I, I like people who have a little drink. However. Former royal chef, Darren McGrady, refuted this claim. Oh, what? Look. Bruv, why are you sh down my neck and calling it a Snickers, Bruce? Don't start raining on parades round here, Darren. You freak. You f***ing dweeb. What are you up to? Anyway, Mr. Darren over here refuted the claim and told CNN she'd be pickled if she drank that much. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks for... That's probably her aim, Darren. Have you never thought about these things? She is the queen. Every time I have one of these, I'm going to feel like a particularly regal gentleman now, yeah? Okay, yeah. Um, she'd be pickled if she drank that much. <laughs> I'm, I'm going... Never mind. All I said... Well, she likes a gin and Dubonnet. That's her favourite drink. For the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year, royal fans will want to know how to make the Queen's favourite cocktail to celebrate. Or her funeral. Too early. Well, it's not, though, is it? Look, I'm celebrating the Queen's, the Queen's life. I'd like to thank her very much for her service for this country. She has done... She's done... Uh, have you seen the photos of her, like, during the war, fixing cars and doing bits and bobs? I'm surprised the bird weren't in the trenches, mate. That's how devoted she was to her country. Like, if that was someone else, then... <laughs> You're going to Barbados. And I'm going to be sitting on the beach for about 73 years, mate. You, you know what I mean? If that was me, and I say, right, tell. <sighs> Charles, and he's no nominated you as the next Queen of England. Queen of England, yeah. <laughs> He's nominated you as the next king of England. I'll be like, right. What does he want me to do about it? And then that's it. My my uh, coronation comes up. <clears throat> Put the crown on and all that gear. Uh, who's the guy that the uh, um, Archbishop of Canterbury or whatever the f comes over? Anyway, he does all these little things with the, with the candles and that. And then um. That's it. I'm king now. Listen, I'm waking up. I'm having Stellas, Bruce. <laughs> I wake up early. I wake up most days about 10 to 5 in the morning. 
This would be breakfast, bros. This, this would be post breakfast. And then that would be post post breakfast. You know what I mean? I'd have like a fucking a, a drip. I'd have an IV drip filled with gin. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, listen, honestly, I think work, and I know it sounds bad, it sounds really bad, but I think work has saved my life. I think going to work has saved my life. If I didn't go to work, I'd be a complete fucking alcoholic. I would. Serious. Be waking up, fucking 10 o'clock. Yeah, bruv. Where's the booze? Nothing else to do. All right, yeah. I've, I've just bought up a heavy bag for the garden. Uh, I'm doing skipping and weights and stuff like that. But, Bruce, once that's finished, what's next? There you go. There you go, Brucey boy. And that, 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 that's just, I'm just being honest. You know, you can be honest or you can just lie. And I'm being, I'm being completely honest. Anyway, getting back to the Queen's cocktail. Um, the classic Dubonnet cocktail is also not very difficult to make. It is a cocktail staple that can be found at most alcohol stores in the UK and is served at all royal residences across the UK. Look, I'm sipping out of a coconut, Bruce. She's a ledge. The measurement should be two parts Dubonnet and one part gin. Mix gently and strain into a chilled cocktail glass. Is ice an ingredient, is it? 